In 1994, a group from Redeemer Lutheran Church in South Lansing walked the neighborhood and asked people in the community how our ministry could serve them better. When we found out that the greatest need was for quality, affordable child care, we responded by using space in our church to form Helping Hands Christian Child Care. Today, parents from all corners of the Tri-County area depend on Helping Hands to provide a safe, caring environment for children eager to learn, laugh, and play, while giving their parents the peace of mind that comes with knowing that every day, their little ones are receiving nourishment for their minds, bodies, and souls. Helping Hands' mission is to provide nurturing care to God's children through our Helping Hands by providing a safe haven for holistic growth. What's a typical day like at Helping Hands? Come on in and we'll show you. In the infant classroom, our little ones get the individualized attention and space they need for their development, along with some sleep. Toddlers exercise their minds, muscles, and vocal cords with all kinds of activities, both in their playroom and outside on the playground that's available just for them. Our transition preschool class gives children opportunities to interact with each other and enhance their creative abilities. We could be looking at the next Picasso. Preschoolers participate in daily group time with songs, stories, the weather map, work on their shapes and colors, and much more. Our pre-K program gives kids a head start on kindergarten by engaging them in literacy, cognitive, creative, and social activities, and of course, their daily cardio workout. Helping Hands also provides a variety of extra learning opportunities, including sign language and computer stations. We also serve a family-style breakfast and lunch every day. Leftovers? I don't think so. But helping hands learning and playing doesn't stop when children are old enough for kindergarten. Our program for K-5 through students gives them a great place to start and end their school day, complete with a healthy snack before and after school. We even have a bus that takes them from helping hands to school in the morning and brings them back in the afternoon. Our executive director talks about what makes the Helping Hands experience so wonderfully unique. Helping Hands is blessed with a very loving and caring staff. Our staff is dedicated in their job that they do. They are more than willing to step up and build the relationships not only with our children, but to take that time to build strong relationships with our families. I think the biggest thing that we noticed is that when our kids are interacting with other kids that come that have a different um, type of child care provider, whether it be they stay at home with family members or they attend a different health um, uh, child care center. We notice right away that the kids that attend Helping Hands are very sociable, they are very interactive with other kids right away, and they're more vocal at an early age. And I think those are some of the things that you can't put a price on. The kids really love their teachers. Um, they started off with some uh, teachers that have um, actually moved on, but all their new teachers and kids really enjoy. They learn a lot with them. Uh, they come home with different stories and experiences from each of the different teachers. The teacher who works with our before and after school students talks about the program. Our program is special for children from kindergarten through fifth grade. We focus on trying to find the things that capture their attention, their interests, and build on their skills. We have both academic things in terms of math, reading, science, and we go on beyond that to enrich them with extra areas of social studies and activities, fun games. And we had field trips in the summer. We have activities for play, for example. We have an area for dressing up, which is very popular, and we have a kitchen center. We also have creative areas. We have our creation station, where they are, have leftover materials, recycled materials, various things that they can create artwork of their own imagination, um, and it's usually a very popular place. We have a, a special um, computer screen that allows us to show a, on a large screen, or either from the computer or from our video, we're able to show special movies or um, computer websites that we need to go to, where we can show it for a classroom size group. Our kids are uh, six and five right now, and you know, as a mother, it was really hard for me to have children and then go back to work. I, I found a very comforting atmosphere here at Helping Hands and of course fell in love with the teachers and the program and um, it, it's just been a, a phenomenal experience for our family. With all this going for us, 
You can see why Helping Hands is such a huge hit with parents and their children. And not just during the school year. Our summer program is thematic based. Each two to three weeks we switch our theme. We'll be working on science, for example. Um, we studied simple machines this last summer. We also worked on our great outdoors um, theme week where we worked on our garden. We talked about camping and things that you do outside. We do cultural week where we had visits from scouts from all over the world, from Kazakhstan, Trinidad, and Tobago, as well as Denmark visited our students. So we were able to give them quite an experience in cultural, very cultural activities. He started in second grade this fall and, and he uh, he enjoys coming here, especially in the summer, because uh, what twice a week they go on field trips to Impression 5, to MSU, to some of the gardens over there and such, and the animals, and the parks, and the library, and so a lot of additional learning that he was able to take from that. The diverse group of student teachers from Michigan State University's service learning program who volunteer at our center share their enthusiasm and love for teaching with staff and children alike. We will actually encourage student teachers as well as students to come and um, get this experience and volunteer or maybe even work and future mother and fathers. Yeah, because it'll help you <laughs> again know how to treat a child and understand their feelings even when they don't express it. What we try to instill in our children here is to treat others as, as you would like to be treated to look at each person individually, to take time to use their words, to, to speak to each other in a um, polite manner. And they, it has been shown that they carry that on. We have heard from several parents that that is one thing that certainly sticks out. Parents come back time and time again after six months or longer and they will tell us that if they've had their, number one, if they've had their children in other child cares before us, they could never see going anywhere else. Number two, this is like a home to them. For us, uh, Helping Hands has really been a family atmosphere. Our family has definitely networked with other families. We've also come to really know, love, and respect everybody who works here. Currently, our daughter, who is in kindergarten, is going to school with two other kids from Helping Hands. She's been able to just get into school with, without any problems. They've exceeded our expectations in terms of the child care they provided for our kids over the period of time that our kids were here. They were taught to respect their peers, other children. They were provided a lot of confidence in working together in groups and teams of other kids. Now that we've taken a look around and know what makes Helping Hands so successful, you may be wondering about our plans for the future. We thought you'd never ask. As a congregation, we are blessed to have three acres of empty land. And this program, since 1995 when it opened, has um, always had dreams to expand, but now we're at a point where we are basically maxed out with space and with children and have waiting lists. One of the hardest things for me to do as a director is to turn a family away due to lack of space to accommodate their child. By doing so, that child is not able to experience all the helping hands has to offer. One of our visions is to extend our hands into the community and envelop as many families as we can, bringing them into a loving, nurturing environment where families have a peace of mind as they go about their daily tasks, knowing that their child is in such an environment throughout the day. So with added gifts from people, with their gifts of talents and their gifts of time and their gifts of money, our hopes would be to reach close to 150 children that we could provide for their needs in this place. As a ministry of, of the South Side of Lansing, we have been raising money already and have money put aside for architect fees and have already talked to the city of Lansing and the city planner. So we are at a point now where we're ready to go and build and the members of the church are, have said yes. So what we're ready to do now is actually look for grant money and other monies that are available and we have the people and the children ready for the space so it's just a matter of time when we find more people who want to jump on board and share in the vision of this place and the needs of children on the south side and the greater Lansing area. If you'd like to learn more about enrolling your child at Helping Hands or are interested in extending a financial helping hand to help us reach our goals, we'd love to talk with you. Please call us at 882 
8622. Email us at carfitz at sbcglobal.net or visit our website, Helping Hands Christian Child Care, all one word, dot com. Thanks for stopping by.